Today we are going to be talking about one step equations. We're going to solve x minus 3 equals 17. To get rid of a number, you always got to do the opposite. So here you have negative 3. The opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. So whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we always have to do it on the other side of the equal sign. Then you cross both. A negative 3 plus a positive 3 is going to leave x by itself. Now, since we have two of the same, we have 17 that is positive, and we have 3 that is positive, we're just going to add 17 plus 3 is 20. Once we get the answer, if you want to check your work, you're going to go ahead and put 20 on x. So we do 20 minus 3 equals 17. Another problem we're solving is x minus 20 equals 30. Five. Same thing we did on the previous problem. To get rid of a negative number, what's the opposite of a negative number? A positive number. So to get rid of negative 20, we need to put positive 20. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we always have to do that on the opposite side of the equal sign. You got negative 20 and positive 20, they're both going to cancel, leaving x by itself. We have positive 35 and we have a positive 20. When we have both of the same signs, we're going to add. So 0 plus 5 is 5 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So x equals 55. Same thing if you want to check if the answer is right. We're going to write 55 where your x is at. So we're going to write 55 minus 20 should equal 35. Now we will be writing x plus 35 equals 60. How are we going to get rid of 35? We're going to do the opposite of positive 35. So the opposite of positive 35 is negative 35. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we always have to do it on the opposite side of the equal sign. Now, to get rid of this, you have positive 35 and negative 35, so they're both going to cancel, leaving x by itself. 0 minus 5, you cannot, so you have to borrow. This becomes 5, this becomes 10. 10 minus 5 equals 5. And 5 minus 3 equals 2. So your answer for x equals 25. To check your work, all you have to do is plug in 25 into x, which would be 25 plus 35 equals 6. X plus 80 equals 100 
and 40 cents. So to get rid of a positive 80, the opposite of positive 80 is going to be negative 80. Whenever we do on one side of the equal sign, we always have to do it on the other side. Positive, positive 80 minus 80 is going to cancel, leaving you x by itself. 7 minus 0 is 7. 4 minus 8, you can't have to borrow. So this 4 becomes a 14. 14 minus 8 is going to be 6. So x equals 67. We're going to check it by pressing 67 on x. 67 plus 80 equals 147. 6x equals 36. Now we are solving one step equation multiplication. What's the opposite of multiplication? The opposite of multiplication is going to be division. So to get rid of 6, we need to divide by 6. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we have to do it in the other side. 6 onto 6, 1, so it's going to cancel. x is going to leave you x by itself. x equals 6 goes into 36, 6 times. How are you going to check it? Same way. 6x equals 36. You're going to plug in your 6 where your x is. 6 times 6 equals 36. 12x equals 144. Opposite of multiplication is going to be division. So to get rid of a 12x, we have to divide by 12. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we have to do that on the other side of the equal sign. 12 divided by 12 is going to cancel, leaving you x by itself. 12 goes into 144 12 times. To check your work, 12 times x equals 144. Where you see your x is 12, you plug in your 12, and 12 times 12 equals 144. We're going to be doing one step equation division. We have x divided by 3 equals 7. The opposite of division is going to be multiplication. To get rid of this 3, we need to multiply by 3 over 1. Whatever we do on one side of the equation, we have to do it on the other side. So we have to multiply by 3 over 1. 3 goes into 3 one time. 3 goes into 3 one time. So this is going to cancel, leaving you 1x. x equals 7 times 3 is 21. To check it, you plug in your x where your x answers. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. x divided by 7 equals 5. So to get rid of a division, we have to multiply. Multiply 7 over 1. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, don't forget, you have to also do it on the other side of the equal sign. 7 over 1. 7 goes into 7 one time, one time. Cancel will leave you only with x by itself. x equals 
5 times 7 equals 35. To check your work, plug in 35 where your x is at, divide by 7, and 7 goes into 35 five times.